Hey everyone, Josh here. So we're back at the Silver V10 TDI Torig and we're hopefully doing the last uh, video on it. This should be the last issue. Uh, we ran into a glow plug issue. Um, so it's thrown a code for cylinder one glow plug, which is luckily the easy one to get at. It's at the very front of the engine, so we don't take the intake manifold off. So this video is just gonna be a quick and easy diagnostics. Uh, if you have a fault on cylinder one or five, it should be easy to get at, but this one has an interesting kind of twist to the to the issue. Um, if you have any of the other banks, I think the intake's gonna have to come off. I'm not doing it here because I don't have to. So that might be a future video if I run in, in, into it, run into an issue with my personal one. Um, but yeah, so let's do some quick diagnostic. With these V10, so this would be cylinders one through five, six through 10. So this one was throwing a code for cylinder one. So that's nice and easy up front here. The issue is the glow plug checked out good. The wiring checked out good, had good power. I swapped relays and still cylinder one issue. Uh, just by chance, I decided to check uh, cylinder five and that one's actually the bad one. So I'm not sure why it's throwing a code for one and five is actually faulty but I'll get into doing a quick diagnostics on how to know which one actually went bad. Uh, so if you're running into the issue with the V10, if you have to do glow plugs, these intakes will have to come off to get room in there because they are recessed in there pretty far. There's also a couple different revisions with the glow plugs, so I'll cover off these, cover off those differences here right now before we get into the test. So here's my assortment of glow plugs. So this is the first one, and you'll see on it right at the end there, that says 5 volt, or 5V. So this will be found in BEWs and BHWs in North America. They also had an updated one that went to... ...7V. So that's seven volt. So O4 V10s use the five volt, the original one here. The O6 through eight in North America uses a different one. Which would be this one. Which is 11 volt, so just, just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind, which one you actually have, and make sure you get the right parts. So I need this 5 volt one, so we'll get this old one out, we'll show how to test it, and then uh, we'll replace it. So to check them, it's really nice and easy. You'll take your multimeter, turn to the ohm settings, It so you can kind of see it. Please check your leads. So with my new one, hold that to the threads, that to the tip. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms. So you can do the same thing with it in the block still. One lead touched the the tip and one basically anywhere on the block. These can be a bit of a pain they're down there quite a ways. And so this one's reading 1.8 ohms so it's really high. So we're gonna get that out and put the new one in. So get down in there. Um, right there. You just see the tip of the glow plug. So chrome 3.8 socket won't fit down there, but a quarter drive 10 mil chrome socket will with a long extension. So hopefully it comes out without taking the threads and then uh, we'll see what it looks like compared to the new one. Okay. 
Okay, so here we are at the car with it on. So, we can go to engine. Fault codes, no, none found. Go to engine two. None found there either. So if we go back, we'll just cycle the key. So then we'll just double check. Unfound. Then we'll check on this one here too. None found, so we should be good here now. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess hopefully this will be the last video on this silver Torig, and we'll get the beige one here shortly. So again, thanks for watching.